Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned about loss of refraction and refractive index. In this lesson we shall learn more about refractive index. We know light changes its speed when entering a different medium. Say light is passing from vacuum to a medium M. What is refractive index of the medium M? If C is the speed of light in vacuum, which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, and V is the speed of light in a given medium, then the absolute refractive index of the medium Nm is equal to C by V, that is speed of light in vacuum, divided by the speed of light in a given medium. For example, the refractive index of water is 1.33. This means speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in water is equal to 1.33. Or in other words, speed of light in water is equal to speed of light in vacuum divided by 1.33. That is, light is slowed down by a factor of 1.33 as it enters the water. And this causes refraction. Here are the refractive index of different materials. See, air has refractive index of 1.0003, which is very close to 1. This means the speed of light in vacuum divided by 1.0003 is equal to speed of light in air, which is very close to speed of light in vacuum. But look at the refractive index of other material medium through which light can pass. The higher the refractive index means denser the material. This also means slower the speed of light when in it enters that medium from a medium of lesser refractive index. And more the light is bent towards the normal as light is moving from a rarer to a denser medium. Look, refractive index of diamond is 2.42 means speed of light through vacuum divided by speed of light through diamond is equal to 2.42 means light slows down by a f by a factor of 2.42 compared to light in vacuum this drastic change of speed actually makes the light bend more towards the normal as it enters the diamond from a less denser medium say air Say light is entering into the diamond from vacuum. Refractive index of second medium with respect to first is equal to sin i by sin r which is 2.42 here. So sin i by sin r is equal to 2.42 means light ray bends a lot. Now say light is entering from glass into water. Here vacuum is no, not one of the medium then how will refractive index of glass and water will help us to decide how much light will bend assume the speed of light in medium 1 that is glass is v1 and the speed of light in medium 2 that is water is v2 look refractive index of medium 2 to medium 1 is n21 that is equal to speed of light in medium 1 divided by speed of light in medium 2 which is equal to v1 by v2 we divide both numerator and denominator by C, that is speed of light in vacuum. So sin i by sin r is equal to v1 by v2, which is equal to v1 by C by v2 by C. But v1 by C is equal to 1 by n1, that is 1 by refractive index of medium 1. And v2 by C is equal to 1 by n2, that is 1 by refractive index of medium 2. So n21 will be equal to n2 by n1 that is refractive index of medium 2 by me refractive index of medium 1 this is called relative refractive index so if we know the refractive index of any two mediums we can find the relative refractive index if light is passing between those two mediums that's all for now bye bye